What's up guys, JR Raymond back again coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop here in Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan. And today we're going to do a rundown of 2019. This is the last day of 2019. So we're going to celebrate by going over my pick for the top five most needed accessories of the year. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, welcome back, guys. So today we're going to talk, we're going to ring in the new year. Or we're going to end 2019 by talking about my top five accessories that I think everybody should have at least used or is still using throughout the year and should continue to use next year. Uh, and we're going to start by talking about number five, which is the wrist restrictor. This is a turbo product that was actually, they bought out, uh, I believe it was, I don't remember who actually made it originally, but somebody made it originally. They redesigned it and they repurposed it to do what they wanted to do. Uh, I did a lot of the testing with that product uh, and a lot of the coaching that I did while I was at Turbo was with this product because it is a really good product. It's for those people who have an issue with staying on the inside part of the ball. If your fingers tend to get to the top or to the outside part of the ball too quick or too early, this product allowed, uh, it, it was a glove that had a strap that wrapped around up to your bicep that literally forced your hand to stay this way. And if you turn this way, the strap would you know, it would tighten and make it to where it was really difficult, almost impossible to turn to the top. And it could actually do the back, do it the opposite way as well. If you were somebody who was too far up the back of the ball and you had a hard time getting your hand around the ball, you could literally force yourself to be this way uh, and it wouldn't let you get back here. So, or for backup ball, if you like to throw a backup ball, uh, it would force you to be this way to where you could straighten that out and get yourself to actually hook the ball a little bit more. So that product was really cool. You can get those over at BowlerX.com. And actually, any of the products that I'm about to talk about, you're going to be able to get at BowlerX.com. And just use that discount code JRX. You get yourself a little bit of a discount on it. Um, but number four on my list is actually protection tape. Now, you'll see I always wrap my fingers. I always wrap my thumb. And I don't. it's not necessarily because I have to. I wrap them for um, because we bowl a lot of games. We bowl a lot of practice. And I don't want to see a ton of that swelling. I don't want to see the rubbing and stuff like that. Um, so, and, and it really helps for taking up space on your thumb and for your fingers. For me, I use vacuum grips, so I leave a little bit of room to where I can jam my fingers in there. So the tape makes it to where it protects it a little bit. And then on my thumb, uh, it makes it to where I, I like the texture on the back. You see a lot of these different tapes, uh, they have different textures and each color, especially from turbo, the ones that I, I always recommend using the turbo products, been with turbo for a long time now. Uh, and I really like their protection tapes. Um, but each diff each color is a little bit different from another. They're a little bit thicker or thinner depending on which color you use. And then they also have the power grip tape, which is uh, a more of a tacky material that you can use for your fingers. So it's up to you. And, and that doesn't mean that any other product is bad. You got the, vi the Vice hide a patch. Uh, these are always good along with the Genesis tape or any of the tapes that any of the bowling companies actually come out with on their own. Generally, they're all pretty similar and they do the same thing. They have the, they, they create the same type of protection that you're looking for. So make sure to head over to Bowler X, get yours today. Um, even if you don't have issues, sometimes it's nice to just have that extra texture, extra grip on your hand to be able to use it or to be able to create the type of ball roll that you want to create um, with this tape. So that's that. On uh, number three are the True Cut pads. And I don't have any in front of me, but I'm going to put some images up here. The True Cut pads by uh, creating the difference. Uh, Ron Hicklin, had worked with a couple different companies to create these pads. And the reason why these ones are so much better is because they don't create the buildup in them like an Aberlon pad does. When you're sanding the pads or when you're sanding bowling balls uh, with a dry true cut or with a dry Aberlon pad, all that material that you're taking off the bowling ball builds up in those pads. And it's really hard to get it all out. Uh, so it actually changes the texture of the pad. And after just one uh, go around with an Aberlon pad, that surface has then heightened. So like a 2000 pad automatically after one use turns it into like a 3000 pad. Now those aren't exact numbers. I don't know exactly what it changes to, but it does heighten. Um, and true cut pads don't do that as much. You can knock the material out and clean it out. It almost like there's a gap in between each layer to where it can kind of, where it doesn't build up and get stuck in there. Um, and they make two different sizes. They have the small little handheld ones and then they have the bigger you know, pad, bigger size pads to use on the spinner and all that good stuff. So, uh, and the reason for having Aberlon pads or true cut pads, 
um, in your bag is because a changing surface is always a need. If your ball is going too long, obviously we need to change surface, get it to see the lane a little bit quicker. Um, and, and if your ball is going hooking a little bit early, we can take that surface up and make it get down the lane a little bit better by smoothing the surface out. So it, it's imperative to have these with you in your bag um, and then learn how to use them. Head over to Ron Hicklin's um, YouTube channel and he'll teach you how to use these things. Uh, and I'll even do some videos here shortly to show you how to use them as well. Um, number two is grip tape. Now you guys hear me talk an awful lot about thumb tape that goes in your ball because you can manipulate how the ball feels on your hand. If you don't have tape in your bag or in your thumb hole, um, I'm not saying you're wrong, but chances are you're giving away feel. You're giving away uh, the ability to manipulate the, the, the thumb hole to make it to where you can roll the ball how you want. I don't know how many times I've had lessons come through here to where I'll put tape in their ball because there is none and I can make them either hang up in it and stay in it longer and they're like, holy cow, that didn't come off my hand very well. And then I can keep adding tape to actually get them out faster. So I can manipulate the tape and put it in certain spots to make them get out of the ball faster and make the thumb hole tighter. So now it makes it to where you don't have to squeeze as much. So uh, this stuff is very important for not only taking up space, if you have a thumb hole that's too big, but it's for creating certain feels, giving you a little texture on that front side of your thumb or even the back side, however you want to use it. So there's all kinds of different ones. I always use the grip strips because they're a little bit thicker. These have a layer two, this has two layers of adhesive on it. So it makes the tape just a pinch thicker. It's almost like, it's almost like two pieces of regular white tape. So, uh, but all kinds of companies make this stuff. Uh, so you can get it from anywhere or you can get any type of brand that you want. Uh, I prefer the grip strips by Turbo, of course, um, but you can always get them at bowlerx.com. The number one product of the year for me that I found was amazing. That actually, it changed my ball reaction quite a bit. I was able to manipulate my ball reaction the most uh, was with the Turtle Wax True Cut Polish. Okay, uh, This stuff has been a lifesaver. Anybody, anybody seen the, uh, the bowling combat videos that I've done? At the end, we take those bowling balls and we polish them up. Nine times out of ten, those bowling balls get better. Like they actually react better after I polish them up a little bit compared to when they were fresh out of box or a little bit duller. So uh, it's kind of crazy to me to think that you can change the ball reaction by that much. And I know, you know, people are going to say, well, polish is polish. I don't know that that's true. I've used regular polish like the Black Magic and some of the other stuff, the ultimate polishes, and uh, they make the ball go longer. Yes, they, the ball goes straighter through the front and longer, but then they give up reaction down lane. I don't give up reaction with this stuff. The, the ball still comes off the pattern down lane where it seems like some of the other polishes almost just fill the pores and just smooth the entire ball out completely. This polish almost feels like it shines it and makes it cleaner, but then can also give it a little bit more down lane. It actually makes it like jump a little bit more down lane, which is really cool. So uh, you can get uh, the little package where you get the towel and just the hand and just the little individual bottle, or you can grab a big bottle of this stuff you know, right over at Bowler X. So that's what I've got for my top five. Uh, maybe in the comments below, let me know what your top five is. Maybe I missed something uh, that we can add in there. But anything you need, make sure to head over to BowlerX.com and get them today. And you should be using just about all these products. If you're not, you're probably giving up feel, you're probably giving up ball reaction, uh, and you're probably not keeping up with some of the bowlers who are using it. So I would be heading over and getting some today. But that's all I got. Hope you enjoy. Everybody have a great and happy new year. I hope your 2019 was amazing. I know mine was pretty, pretty dang good. And I'm looking forward to 2020. Uh, in 2020, we're going to start doing more and more training videos. And we're going to actually start from the back and work our way forward. And we're going to teach everybody a little bit more about this game. So hope everybody enjoys. Happy new year. And we will see you guys next year. Take care.